Hello, this is another video aimed at the parents because with babies and toddlers, they don't need to sit and watch me. I am not entertainment. My purpose of this video is to help teach the parents or adults or older siblings these songs and rhymes and activity ideas so that you can infiltrate music into your everyday life with your baby and toddler. So uh, let's start with Oh Mississippi O. Oh. Mississippi O oh, had a little baby O oh, dresses it in calico riding on a donkey. Now I have my donkey friend here. I don't know if you have one of these donkeys in your house, but um, when it comes to integrating music into my children's lives, I have found that if I associate certain songs with certain things in the house, whether they're objects or toys or activities that are done on a routine basis. Uh, whenever I see my child doing that, I am more likely to break into song, so to speak. So if you see the donkey in your house, you might start singing or you might notice that your kid is bouncing on it. And so you could sing slow like I just did. And I'll give you both verses this time. Oh, Mississippi, oh, had a little baby, oh, dresses it in calico, riding on a donkey. Oh, Mrs. Applewhite, are you coming out tonight? You look such a bonny sight riding on a donkey or you could sing it faster if they're bouncing or you could always of course put them on your leg and bounce along this is a song that fits under the bounces category oh mississippi oh had a little hat baby oh dresses it in calico riding on a donkey oh mrs apple white are you coming out tonight you riding on a donkey. So there are some ideas for that bounce song. Here is Bossy Cow. Bossy Cow, Bossy Cow, where do you lie in the green meadow under the sky? Billy Horse, Billy Horse, where do you lie out in the stable with nobody nigh? Birdies, bright birdies, sweet, where do you lie up in the treetops, oh, ever so high. Baby dear, baby love, where do you lie? In my warm crib with mama close by. And I brought out, this is Big Baby. And the Big Baby will help us to demonstrate the motions. I like to sway in between the bounces. Bossy cow, bossy cow, where do you lie? In the green meadow under the sky. Billy horse, Billy horse, where do you lie? Out in the stable with nobody nigh. Birdies, bright birdie, sweet, where do you lie? Up in the treetops ever so high. Baby dear, baby love, where do you lie? In my warm crib with mama close by. Next is a finger wiggle, and it is row, row, a fishing will go. For this one, I will use Big Baby again. And I envision you're facing your child because you're going to push and pull them back and forth while holding their hands. So it's this motion, and it goes like this. Row, row, a fishing will go. How many fishes have you, Joe? and then you're gonna wiggle their fingers. And this one, you start with the thumb. Don't fall off, big baby. One for my father, one for my mother, one for my sister, one for my brother, and one for the happy fisher boy who eats his fish with yummy joy. And then you blow on the belly. <gasps> pizzazz, zerbert, raspberry, whatever you call it, you could just kiss their belly. 
This is your kid. You can make your own memories. So I'll run through that whole thing one more time. Row, row, a fishing will go. How many fishes have you, Joe? One for my father, one for my mother, one for my sister, one for my brother, and one for the happy fisher boy who eats all his fish with yummy joy. <laughs> And of course, when you're doing this, you want to look your kid in the eye and smile and they're going to laugh and it's going to be great. And in honor of the Tiger King show phenomenon that is happening during this stay home order, here's this little tiger finger wiggle. Starts with your pinky. This little tiger is very wild. This little tiger is a loving child. This little tiger has some big black spots. This little tiger has small black dots. This little tiger likes to prowl and smell, but his teeth are too small to bite very well. These are baby's fingers, a tickle. You can replace the word baby with your kid's name. These are baby's fingers. These are baby's toes. This is baby's belly button. Round and round it goes. And if I replace my baby with the name Parker, I would have these are Parker's fingers. These are Parker's toes. This is Parker's belly button, round and round it goes. In honor of all the baby bunnies and Easter, here's round and round the garden. You wanna draw a circle on your baby's palm. Round and round the garden, the little bunny goes. Hippity hop, hippity hop, and you walk up the baby's arm. Hippity hop, hippity hop, I'm gonna get your nose and then you get your baby's nose. So without the explanation, it sounds like this. Round and round the garden, the little bunny goes. Hippity hop, hippity hop, I'm gonna get your nose. This is a tapping song. Knock at the door. It sounds like this, the song alone. Knock at the door, peek in, pull the latch and walk in. The motions, you start by knocking on your baby's forehead, however you want to do that. And then you peek in into their eyes. Maybe you look real close. Maybe you lift their eyebrows slightly. Don't hurt them. I know, you know, it'll be fine. Pull at the latch. We're gonna poke up their nose a little bit. Pull up the latch and then you're gonna walk in. And I like to walk from down here and then you walk into their mouth or onto their chin or however you want to give the impression you're walking in. So. Knock at the door, peek in, pull at the latch and walk in. Knock at the door, peek in, pull at the latch and walk in. And of course, this is a wonderful song to incorporate as you walk through the house. Maybe they, your child has become a mover and they're crawling through doors and you want to teach them to knock. So it's an easy way to incorporate that. Knock at the door, peek in, pull at the latch and walk in. And you'll just catch them walking through doorways, singing that song to themselves before you know it. It'll be beautiful. And our final song in this video is Bling Blang. It's a clapping song. It sounds like this, the song alone. Bling Blang, hammer with my hammer, zingo zango, cutting with my saw. And then the motions are going to hammer. And depending on how small your child is, they might hammer like this, or they might be able to take turns which hand is on top. They can also hammer on something, a box, the floor, their legs. You might see them tapping on a block, and you could just start singing this song to their beat. So if they're over there doing this, you're going to go bling, bling, hammer with a hammer. Or if they're doing this, bling, bling, hammer with my hammer.
summer. You get the idea. And then zingo zango, you turn your hands into a saw. Zingo zango, cutting with thy saw. So the whole song together sounds like this. Bling, bling, hammer with my hammer. Zingo zango, cutting with my saw. Bling, bling, hammer with my hammer. Zingo zango, cutting with my saw. At whatever tempo your child is doing, you want to match their steady beat because then they realize the connection between what they're doing and what you're doing. Otherwise, if you're just trying to get them to match you, they're not going to make that connection. So meet them where they're at. Bling, bling, hammer with my hammer, zingo, zango, cutting with my saw. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon.